<laughs> we are here with our plates. We are ready to replace these that got the crawling on them um, from the last comb. So in my research, I found a couple of things that might have led to that. And so we're gonna try and remedy that today. One of the things is putting the underglaze on at Leather Hard. Um, uh, nothing real different about that, but it is a trick um, that could possibly save your, um, save you from getting a bleed underneath your paper. So, thanks for coming. Um, underglaze on bisqueware, you can use tape, and that's what I did in the videos before on the bisqueware. You can't get tape to stick to leather hard. So how do you do it? Well, you're gonna use paper. You can use paper resist that's, um, you know, newsprint, um, anything that's water soluble you can use. So I got me some construction paper here. And all I need is a straight line. It doesn't have to be a straight strip or anything like that. So I'm just folding the paper in a straight line. And then I'm gonna cut on all of these edges. And um, like I said, you can use any kind of paper. I will link to this construction paper. Um, I got um, the link to this construction paper myself from um, a workshop I went to. And um, what's really, yeah, it, it really does work pretty good, especially when you're wanting to like cut out shapes. It does shapes really, really well. Um, for strips like this, that's probably a little overkill. You can use just regular old jive paper. Um, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I use this with, uh, sorry. I use this with a, a paper cutter, um, an, an electronic paper cutter cricket thing uh, style. And um, I can cut out like um, circles and squares and all sorts of other things out of this. And it works really well for that. Um, but for just strips, you can use any kind of paper. Okay, so I have my two bowls of water that I normally have over at the wheel. This is the slip water, my throwing slip. And then this, the smaller one is just regular, is just water. Now it's dirty water, but it won't matter. Um, I have my strips and I'm gonna put them in the cleaner of the two waters and get them nice and wet. And this is what's going to make them stick to um, these plates. So it's changed color. So this is a strip that it's beginning to get translucent, you know, fantastic. Now I find the straight edge, right? and lay it down on the pot and it will just stick right to it. No problem whatsoever. I'm gonna rub that line down a little bit. And here's the key. I'm gonna mix up my throwing slip so that it's basically terracin gelata or underglaze or something like that. 
It, but it's got that, you know, milky consistency. I'm gonna take a brush and um, I'm gonna paint this edge ever so slightly with some throwing slip. And what that's gonna do is that if there is any kind of bleed, any kind of bleed that's gonna go through this plate, um, any place where this isn't stuck down, then this is gonna seal the uh, paper down to the clay so that, um, so that the underglaze will not bleed underneath it. So now I can go ahead with my underglaze color and paint on that. When you put down your um, slip water, you want to brush this way so that it will get underneath. If there's any place for it to get underneath the paper, it will get underneath the paper. When you're brushing on your color, you want to brush this way. But you want to make sure that um, you get the line covered good. The other thing is, at, at some point, you'll have so much color on there that, you, you, and you'll know what it is, it starts picking up more color than it is putting down. And you don't want that to happen at the edge, so make sure before you pull it off that you have the edge covered. And check out that gorgeous line. Woohoo! It's fantastic. It's perfect. Alrighty. Alright, that's two coats, y'all. Let's pull it off. Woohoo! Yeah, no bleed. No bleed. So even though I have those places there, I wiped this way and I didn't get any bleed. I did get a little bit of bleed right there, but not enough to make it look like that's where I can I can put the underglaze transfer over that spot and it will cover it up and no problem. Fantastic. Uh, the other thing I do think I am going to shave a little bit off of this one before I um, put its color on and I think I got ahead of myself on that one. In fact, I'm just gonna pull this off. Well, really what needs to happen is I need to slow down. If it dries out like that, that's fine. I'm, I'll just wet it again, do that again. I'm gonna shave this off and then we're going to do two colors like this with those two. Um, so, over to the will with my shirt form. All right, in case you don't know what this is, this is a sure form. S H U R sure form. You can get them at the hardware store. You can get them at, um, you know, anywhere, or you can get them at the pottery store. I will put a link in the description. Um, but these are these are great. Uh, they also sell them in really big long lengths uh, I have one around here somewhere but apparently I don't use it very much with a plate this is really a great deal it's leather hard I've gotten it stuck down to the back um, it should be good and stable um, but I am going to hold it um, with equal pressure here and here, just to kind of hold it to the back. And then I'm gonna barely touch it. And look at all the happiness. 
And this is a drywall tool as well. So if you go to a hardware store and you're trying to find the Sureform, it's in the drywall section. This looks good. Took about half an inch off of it. And now I'm just going to get that nice, smooth, happy rim back because it's kind of squared off now. This little tool is your best friend when it comes to um, cleaning up places that you don't want to be there. Now, it will get off places in the middle of things, but where it really excels is right here on the outer edge of your pot. Because you can hold it like this and get a nice clean line of no underglaze. Woo! So now I can just kind of go in and erase on the edge. Cause I just got me a nice straight edge over there on the, um, on the banding wheel. And I can just go in like this. It's so much easier on your pot than say a um, carving tool. So it carves without carving. Just goes right through the underglaze. Fantastic. learning process all learning process unless you know you whack your finger into the side of it on accident and then it grows up yeah, that's a working point.